Old Testament, Joshua, the man who, same name as your brother, right? Joshua, he went to a uh, strange country. It was really strange. There, they worshipped false gods. They burned their babies in the arms of uh, metal God, the fire coming up and killing their children. Very strange country. The Canaanites, the Amorites, Hivites, the Hittites, all of these strange people, God has pushed them out of the country and brought his own people and allowed them to move into the cities that he himself cleared out those evil people. God led his own people out of Egypt. There they were slaves. They worked as slaves building the pyramids, all of the Egyptian fancy temples to false gods, the Jewish people who worshipped the true God were building temples and idols and pyramids for false gods. <coughs> But God himself led them out of that country, led them to this country where there were false gods, many terrible false gods. God himself cleared out the people, and the cities were empty. The people, his own people, he led to fill those cities. And their homes were already built. Those large cities in the country where God led his people, now they had a worship time. It was Sunday morning, right? No. Uh, <laughs> it was. It was the worship time, true. They came to Joshua. His name means, do you know what your son's name means? God saves us. Joshua means God saves us. Yahweh saves us. And this group of people came to that man knowing what his name means. They came knowing that the Lord had blessed this man. He was the oldest man in the country he was the oldest man belonging to the people of Israel. The man Joshua told the people, we have left Egypt. Forty years they traveled through the wilderness. Now in Egypt there were false gods. Here in this country, there were false gods. Who will you worship? Will you worship the false gods of Egypt? Will you worship the false gods of this strange country? For myself, and for my family, we will worship the Lord. Do you know, where are your children? Mary, you know where your children are. They are there. Your grandchildren are there. My children, do I know where they are? 
I always know where my children are. For me, and for my family, we worship the Lord. The Lord God is our first thinking on Sunday morning. My children are all at some church here in Omaha or Oklahoma. My children are going to church to worship God. Why? Well, because we chose God, right? <clears throat> no. Because God chose us. God is the one who chose us. He has given to us his own family name. My children. Lutheran is the family name, right? Christian is the family name. My family are all Christian people. And I thank, thank, thank God. When I was in the hospital last month, when I was dying of cancer, I told my friends, you know, I thank God that he is saving me. But I will tell you the truth. I thank God 100 times more that God has saved my family. My children, my grandchildren, soon, another one, <coughs> wonderful blessing. And I thank God that he continues to give my family his blessings overflowing. My family, I thank God for them, but also I thank God for you, all of you, because God has given to me a family that is more than my wife and my children. This week, I was preaching on Facebook. You saw my long diatribe. People put up uh, the picture. It said, family is not the people that I am related to by blood. My family are my friends who truly love me who truly want me to continue as their friend, who truly want me to do what I like to do. And they do not judge me because I am different. And those people will support me no matter what I do. And I'm thinking, what? I don't want friends that will support me no matter what I'm doing. You know, these people, I said on Facebook, these people, are, they must have lousy families. The family is not to say yes, 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 all the time, yes. Uh, <laughs> we were discussing Roy and I were discussing our children and how quickly they grow up. Uh, his last baby is a senior this year. I told him my last baby uh, next month turns 21 years old. No, 20. He's already a 20 year old Jew, that's right. Uh, he, turns, uh, he turns 20 next month. And I don't have any more teenagers. But my family, as my family, we're growing up. 
as my children were in my home, they would often hear the word no. I like the sign, no, because it's a quick way of saying, you know, you know, you know. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, telling the children no is very important. I know some families, the children have never heard the word no. They have never seen a father and mother who sign no. It's always yes, 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 yes. And we don't want friends who will tell us yes, 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 yes. This article said, I want friends who always tell me yes, 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 and love me no matter what I'm doing. I don't want those friends. I want friends who will tell me yes when I am doing good, and I want friends who will tell me no when I am doing bad. When I see God's people in Egypt, when I see God's people in the promised land, I know that it is good for a family who is connected by blood for a family to say yes is right and good and to say no, this is wrong and bad. The family, it's important that we say, God has saved us. Yes, God always loves us. Yes. And then to say, sin. It is always bad. We don't get to choose our favorite sin and accept that one, okay? <laughs> Please tell me no. <clears throat> I don't want friends who will tell me yes. I want a family. I want friends who will tell me no. This sin is not right. This God does not accept. Maybe the Egyptian gods would accept that. Yeah, they will. Maybe the gods, the false gods and idols of Canaan would accept that. Yes, they will. Yes, 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 yes. Any sin. But for me, and for my family, I don't want those yes gods. I want the one God who has chosen me. The one God who gives to me his yes and also his no. I have preached that mostly deaf churches. But sometimes, I will preach at a hearing church. There was a time after I had finished preaching at the deaf church in Des Moines, where I served a hearing church for almost two years, almost. And that church, I had a group of confirmation kids. There were 12 in that class. And when they were confirmed, that Sunday, I preached, and all of my class, all 12 of them, memorized my sermon. Can you believe that? It was famous sermon. Would you like to memorize it? The sermon for that Sunday, it was a long worship service. They had the baptismal people come and lay hands on them and pray. 
They had a rose that they gave them. They had a verse from the Bible that they gave them. And it was a long, long worship. And I was thinking, you know, what, two hours? No, 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 no. What can I cut? And I thought, I can cut the sermon. <laughs> no, no, not a good idea. Because those people have to have a sermon, right? Well, a sermon they can memorize. Okay. Four points. And I used my sign language a little bit because I said four points. Okay. First, God, we are for him. We love him. God, we are for him. Sin, we're against it. Jesus saves. And we need to go and do something about this. If he saves us, we've got to go and tell people he saves us. Four. God, we are for him. Sin, we are against it. Jesus saves. Now we go and do something about this. We tell people about this. Okay, four. Memorize the sermon. <laughs> God, we are for him. Sin, we are against it. Jesus saves, and now we are going to go and do something. Okay, four. Okay, memorize, finish. <laughs> but really, there is yes and no. Meaning, we don't yes, 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 yes. And when they left Egypt, no more would they worship those false gods. They would not go to the temples of false gods. They would not build them. They would not worship them. And when they go to the new promised land, they would not worship those false gods. They would not go to the idols. They would not go to the high places, the poles, the Asherah, poles. They would not go there. Cut them down. Throw them away. These places are now holy for God. And we are the same. Our life is His. He has given to us life new. He has given to us His bread from heaven. And He has given to us eternal life through His Son, Jesus. Easy to remember. It's not hard to tell your friends in our church, our God says yes, but also says no, but also says he loves us and saves us. And tell them, tell your friends. Uh, it's better than burgers. <laughs> it's better than ice cream. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Jesus.